So here's case four, which is repeated quadratic factors. It's just like repeated linear factors, with the exception of we're going to change the numerator. So this one's going to be a little bit trickier, um, but we have this 1 over x squared plus 1 uh, squared times x. So let's split this up. We got um, x squared plus 1 plus x squared plus 1 squared plus x. We don't know what goes on top. Because this is a quadratic, we're going to use ax plus b. Because this is a quadratic, we're going to use cx plus d. And because that's a linear, we're just going to use a capital E. Five variables. It's going to be exciting, so let's try this out. If we multiply both sides by the x squared plus 1 squared x, multiply this side by x squared plus 1 quantity squared x. On the left, we get 1. That's good. On the right, we're going to get ax plus b times, there's 1x squared plus 1 that gets canceled, the other one we've got to multiply by, times x. Plus, we have cx plus d times x, plus e times x squared plus 1 squared. Okay, here that whole thing canceled out with that. Here the x is canceled, and here it canceled with one of them. So now we got to simplify this. My suggestion, FOIL, then distribute. FOIL, then distribute. So if I FOIL this, I get ax cubed plus bx squared plus ax plus b. That's all times x. Then we got cx squared plus dx plus, remember this is going to be written twice, so it's going to be e, it's x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1. Sweet. Distribute that x, ax to the fourth plus bx cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus cx squared plus dx plus ex to the fourth plus 2ex squared plus e. This one is definitely a doozy. All right. Group like terms. Well, I'm going to run out of pens here, but we got ax to the fourth and ex to the fourth. So that's going to give me a plus e x to the fourth. We only have one x to the third power, so that's going to be b x to the third. I have 3 uh, x squared terms, so that's going to be plus a plus c plus 2e x squared. I got two terms that are x terms, so I get uh, plus b plus d x and then finally one constant as I'm drawing off the screen here okay so now we got to set up our equations well this is pretty interesting because we don't have any x to the fourth we don't have any x to the third we don't have any x squared we don't have any x and we just have a constant so our equations look something like this. A plus E equals 0. B equals 0. This is going to be the tough one to solve. A plus C plus 2E equals 0. B plus D equals 0. And E equals 1. Well, I know E equals 1. I know B equals 0. That should help out in solving the other problems. Because if I take this first equation, I know that e is equal to 1. I can say a plus 1 equals 0. a has to equal negative 1. Now I have a, b. I also have e. So I can take this equation and I can say negative 1 plus c plus 2 times 1 equals 0. It's going to say c plus 1 equals 0. c has to equal negative 1. And then right here, I can say b, which is 0, plus d equals 0. d must equal 0. 
So I have a equals negative 1, b equals 0, c equals negative 1, d equals 0, e equals 1. A lot of stuff. But go back up to our original, go back up to our original formula here, and we're going to go ahead and write that down here. So we got ax plus b, so that's going to be negative 1x plus 0 over x squared plus 1. Then we're going to have negative 1x plus 0 over x squared plus 1 squared. And then 1 over x. Now we don't like having those zeros in there. We also don't like this plus minus. So what we're going to do is we're going to say negative x over x squared plus 1 minus x over x squared plus 1 squared plus 1 over x. That's a lot of work. Okay, but the tricky thing about this was that there was five variables and five equations, but we ended up doing okay with that because there was all these zeros here. And if there were any more numbers over here where it didn't work out, I would have put it in a matrix, put it in reduced row echelon, and solved, and it would have been a lot easier. Um, but with this one, all the variables kind of work themselves out. So we're going to try one last one, and uh, I hope that you guys are able to do it. And if not, then we'll talk about it on Wednesday.